What's up, y'all, man? Y'all already know what time it is, man. Today, we're going to be checking out Larry Bird trash talking. Ah, right. Now, I watched his mixtape, bro. Larry Bird's mixtape is crazy. And he had a bag, man. And it's honestly insane to me that people don't give him the, his flowers like they should. He reminds me a bit of Jokic, man. His smooth play, just playmaking. He knew where every single person on the floor was, like always at all times. And that's an underrated skill, man. So I also have heard that he trash talks a lot. And uh, I just couldn't picture that. You know what I'm saying? But I seen little glimpses. But we about to really see how far this goes, man. Let's go. I'm ready, man. Let's do it. So we playing him in the last, the last play. He says uh, to James Worthy, he says, you guys don't have to worry about it. I'm going to go right over there at that corner. <laughs> he said, they're going to set a screen for me. We're taking the ball out. He said, I'm going to curl right over. And he's telling us to play. Wow. He's telling us wow. to play before they even take it out. He said, I'm going to go right over to that corner, and I'm going to catch it, and I'm going to shoot it, and I'm going to tie the game or win the game, whatever the case may be. No they way. take the ball out, and I think it was either Danny or, or, or um, DJ? the late, great DJ. Yeah. Take the ball out. The man curled right to the corner, caught the shot, <laughs> shot a three. And smack. Smack. <laughs> it's like, are you effing kidding me? <laughs> go to shake his no hand. way. I'm working him, playing against the Boston Celtics in the Boston Garden. I'm going to go shake. And Larry put both hands behind his back. He wouldn't shake my hand. I said, okay, he's just getting into the game. And <laughs> first play of the game, he said, you don't even belong in the league, Holmes. And he shoots a three. Now, wow. I wasn't mad wow. that he made the three. But I said, this something this this called me Holmes. <laughs> and, and, and he and he came down and did it again, so I'm pissed, you know. So the next time down, see me on the breaking that pitch, and I jump up and I throw it down on him, man. I mean, he fouls me. Mm. And he said, Hey Rook, I like you. You got heart. Okay. He said, But I'm still getting 30 on your ass. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's who he was. Wow. But that was the only time he ever talk trash to me because he respected me because he knew that I was going to keep coming. That really taught me something, you know. If you wasn't prepared to play against guys like that, you got embarrassed. I, I, I always tell wow. this, people, this story about Larry Bird. I remember him, he was cursing under his breath. And I asked him, I said, Larry, what's going on with you? He says, you guys are being disrespectful to me. And I says, what are you talking about? He says, you guys are putting a white guy on me. <laughs> That's disrespectful. Wait, who's the one? <laughs> Yo, no way Larry Bird was doing all that, bro. No, okay, listen. Walking these guys through the entire play and still hitting the shot in your face is one thing. Saying that, bro, saying you put a white guy on me, that's crazy. Yo, Larry Bird, a troll. He a comedian and a professional basketball player, bro. What? White guy you put I, on I, him. I can't remember who it was. I just started laughing. I had no comeback. He says, he says it's disrespectful when y'all put a white guy on me. And I'm sitting there like, I'm laughing in the middle of a game. He Larry Bird told Robert Reed to go to stay there. He should have stayed in preaching. <laughs> that was funny. He had 50 points. And you know, Larry Bird. Bird ain't never playing no great defense. He like sagging off a little bit. So he tell the guy, you can't shoot. So I'm not wearing about guard. You. I said, man, shoot it in the face. Shoot it in the face. <laughs> Mark hit a three-pointer on Larry, on Larry Bird and uh and said and said, and said take a look at that. And Bird just came right back and hit three three three-pointers in a row. And just basically basically said to him, and we all heard it that you're out of your league. Or he'd say, Danny, give me the ball, or DJ, give me the ball. I got this guy in the torture chamber down here. <laughs> Why the guy was standing right there listening to him say it. The ball went to Larry and Isaiah was all out of, out of whack. He had the ball at three-point range. He goes, hey, 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 who's guarding me? Everybody looked around. He just stood there, held the ball, and Isaiah said, ah, oh, he ran out there and just shot at three-pointer. Too late. Was the originator of getting in your face and talking trash. <laughs> and then they sit there and you go, I'm just getting up in my face talking noise. He ain't that fast. He's slow. But he knew how to aggravate you, agitate you enough to get you out of your game. I was guarding in my rookie year. He looked at me and he goes, you can't stop me. And I looked at him and I said, gosh, boy, you're, you're so confident. He goes, confident? You're, you're a rookie. You don't know anything. He proceeded to score like 10 straight points on me. Mm. Coach took me out the game. He walks by and he's laughing at me. <laughs> Larry Bird catches the ball in the corner. I take off running out at Larry Bird. And right when he's getting ready to shoot, I jump, and as I go by, <laughs> I go by him, he tells me, he says, fly, bird. And, he, and I go right by him, he shoots the ball, it's nothing but nylon. What? 
<laughs> wait, bro, yo, yo, you can't make this up. No, like they're telling, they're saying things that you genuinely could not make up if you wanted to. This man pump faked you, said fly bird as you fly over him and hit the shot on you. I, bro, <laughs> yo, that you gotta be a different type of person to keep wanting to play after somebody do that to you. And then this man, and then apparently he said he got him in a torture chamber. I've never heard no stuff like that, bro. Yo, that yo, Larry, bro, you different, man. Let my goodness. Larry Bird was a pain in the neck. Anytime we had a chance to win, Larry Bird changed that. Larry Bird. Look at that. Your child. Oh, needs come on, don't do the ads, bro. To His own shot. Oh. Mm. There was a certain confidence you had because you know if you ever got in trouble, give the ball to Larry and get out of his way, and he delivered. <laughs> Double team at first. Larry, oh my God. Do you remember? Well, you had the bird night. I had the bird night. Yeah. yeah, that was that was a tough night, man. Yeah, it was the bird that, night. You know, that, the biggest argument that night is, uh, well, you only scored six on me. Yeah. <laughs> you know? But did, you, nobody was guarding bird, were they? Well, we were trying. You were trying no, to. Yeah, you know, but when when a guy is literally coming up to court calling his shots uh and you know bird talked a lot of trash uh, um wow. and that's in new orleans that's in new orleans and that game we're on the free throw line and he's like he literally says um left side <laughs> over uh, across the three and you're listening to him that's that's a tough feeling wow but, okay so you guys got Antoine Carr and Cliff Levingston got fined by Fratello I think for... and, and Eddie Johnson for celebrating celebrating bird yeah, it was the best film session. Every time I see, when I see Mike, we still laugh. God, it's it was so the, good. it was the greatest film session ever because at, back then you didn't have you know you watched the real game and just went you know with a video and Mike rewound the celebration twenty times. Oh, he just kept re not the shot. He just kept rewinding it, showing the guys. You remember they were giving each other high five. And then and then somebody falls off the bench. Yeah, too. that was when, Eddie Johnson. Yeah, yeah that was when, Eddie Johnson. Yeah. Eddie Johnson falls off the bench in laughter. <laughs> Uh, and Antoine Carr and Cliff gives each other a high five. And our film session was 20 minutes of that. Wow. So it, it was. It wasn't it, somebody not playing good defense no, on Bird. It was you it was, guys celebrating just, Larry Bird. And Fratello wouldn't let it go. It just kept rewinding. Oh, wow. Ooh, wow. Ooh. And it, it, it was. Uh, I think Bird uh, went by the bench one time, too. He fell in a bench. Oh, yeah, he did. Yeah, he, <laughs> and he called that one. That was the one where he fell in it. He literally said, oh, no. uh, off the glass, into the trainer. And, uh, <laughs> oh, <my yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you mean to tell me this dude used to narrate and tell you everything he was about to do? I don't know if there's anything more demoralizing as a sports player when a man look you in his face and he not lying to you, honestly tell you what he about to do and still do it to you. That's crazy. Yo, Larry, you different. My goodness, bro. And so um, it was a bad night. Um, when Larry got on the roll, started shooting the ball, just, every shot was going in. Goodbye, she's gone. I guess the two-pointer was too close. When he ran by the bench, he goes, that's a heat check. Bro, he how hot I am. All right, it runs by Frank Layden, who's the funniest guy in, in the league. And Frank is coaching, and Larry says to him, Hey, Frank, don't you have anybody on that bench who can guard me? He goes, So nobody out here can. Wow. Frank looked down the bench and goes, No. <laughs> uh, he'll look at you like, Hey, what you doing out here? You better call somebody else. I even heard him tell, uh, tell the coach, Hey, look, coach, you better get somebody else out here to guard me because I'm killing this guy. Wow. In last year's playoffs, Person was out to make Bird eat his words while adding a few choice comments of his own. Chuck Person, he definitely Bird has his pissed. reputation. During the playoffs, he just went AWOL, you know, and he just went to work. You can see this. But he chatting, he chatting. Bird giving it back to him. Chuck Person can talk some trash to Larry Bird now. He scored the last 16 points. Mm. Chuck and Larry down low, greeting one another once again. Bird. Mm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it is a little special because um, I've known Chuck for a while and we've always had run-ins, but uh, it always seems like I, I get the last word. <laughs> Bird's ability to get the final word is made for many a magic moment. And this week, we relive a game when Larry was in rare form and Xavier McDaniel was eager to lend an ear. High game.
They called the time out. He said, you know I'm going to get it. And I said, I know I'm going to be waiting. Wow. And then the time out, I'm going for a play. And I tried this one more run. All right, uh, then she got the ball. You go over here and uh, you know, pass to Kevin. Then you go to the corner. And why would you come over? Then about that time, Larry steps in and says, uh, Coach, uh, why don't you just give me the ball and tell everybody to get out of the way? <laughs> now, after the time out, we walk back on the court. Larry's going down to his position. So he tells the baby, he says, I'm getting the ball. Yeah, he said, I'm going to get it right here. I'm going to shoot it right in your face. No. No way. No way. And they doubled him. And they doubled him. And they doubled him. It don't even matter. What? Yo, because look, because he probably spent this whole time telling him, I'm, I'm about to do it to you. And they put two people on him, bro. You see, they both jumped up. It looked like you couldn't even see his hand. They was like, like they had him covered. And he hit the shot anyway. Wow, man. See, that's the type of mentality, bro, that some players just don't have. This right here is insane. <laughs> And you know, he was like, I didn't mean to leave two seconds on the clock. I went wow. back to the sideline like, damn. Larry Bird just phenomenal the way that he will contribute in the clutch time. Larry was complaining to the refs, and I was complaining to the refs. And the next time down the court, it got in my face. I was up 38 to 6. Mm. That's how I summarize it. The 84 Olympic team is playing an exhibition game against a bunch of pros, including Larry Bird, and they were in the warm-ups. And a ball bounced down from the college end of the court to the pro end. And Michael Jordan went down to chase it. The ball happened to be picked up by Larry Bird. And Michael went up a few feet away from Larry Bird and held out his hands. And Bird took the ball and fired it back down the court over <laughs> Jordan's head. <laughs> as if to say, you're not only not getting this ball, I don't give a damn who you are. Larry Bird knows exactly who this guy is and what's going to happen in the next few years. And he wants to get every edge he can get right now. i got a pull hamstring. So I'm not playing tonight. He walks down to me. Man, I'm sorry you're not playing. But I, he said, I'm going to tell you what, since you're here, I'm going to put a show on for you. <laughs> so you just sit back and watch, okay? And I'm like, man, get out of my face, man. I want to hear that. You know, that's Celtics and the Lakers. Mm -hmm. Every time he hit one, he look at me. Wow. I remember we, we were playing uh, Washington in Washington one night, and Larry just hit what would have been the game when he shot. But KC called timeout. He did it again. Oh, yeah, he, hit it. he did it again. Larry came back to the bench, and, you know, he was a little upset. Did he do it again? He looks at uh, the bench, he says, uh, hey, guys, when I come back after timeout, I'm going to go right to the same spot, and I'm going to kick it in. Wow. He told Washington. Yo, this is so tough. This is I'm so going to get the ball. Yeah. Two seconds left. The ball looks by a one. Check him out. Look, same thing. One left. Bang. Bang. Boy, this is something else. Incredible. Oh. Bird wins it at the buzzer. I, bro, I genuinely think, man, he literally would tell you what he was going to do. The confidence was through the roof. He believed in himself, and nobody could tell him otherwise, man. And that's what I like, bro. It's a certain mentality that people don't give him credit for that he had that is insane. I mean, like, honestly, man, people talk about Kobe, but Larry had that mentality, if not more in some cases, bro. So, I'm shook, man. I, I Look, I didn't know he talked trash like this. Some of the stuff he said was so creative, I can't wait to use it on the court when I go play. I mean, I loved it, man. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please like the video and subscribe. As always, I love y'all. Peace out.